Topic for today is amount of compensation. So section 4 deals with the amount of compensation. So this section deals with how compensation is to be calculated for injured or diseased employee. So calculation of the compensation is made on the monthly wage or salary of an employee. The amount of compensation varies from employee's death, permanent total disablement, permanent partial disablement and temporary disablement. The Act provides for compensation for cases of, for cases in death, permanent total disablement, permanent partial disablement and temporary disablement. Determining the amount of compensation payable under the Act. Section 4 has to be read with Schedule 4 to the Act and in Schedule 4, there is a table having four columns. For the permanent partial disablement, Schedule 1 to the Act contains a list of injuries deemed to result in permanent partial disablement together with the percentage loss of the earning capacity which is presumed to occur in each case when permanent partial disablement occurs from an injury specified in Schedule 1. The amount of compensation is to be calculated by finding out from Schedule 4 the compensation payable for the permanent total disablement to the workman concerned and multiplying it with the percentage loss of earning capacity as stated in Schedule 1. Thus, suppose that there is an injury which according to Schedule 1 causes 30% loss of earning capacity. Now, suppose that the monthly wage of such workmen is rupees 50. So, from Schedule 4, it is saying that for a permanent total disablement, we would have obtained rupees 10,080 rupees. Hence, for the permanent partial disablement, he would get 30% of 10,000 rupees 80 that is 3,024 rupees. Now in case of an injury not specified in schedule 1 then the percentage loss of earning capacity permanently caused must be found out and this figure multiplied by the amount of compensation for permanent total disablement gives the amount of compensation payable for the partial disablement where more injuries than one are caused by the same accident the amount of compensation payable under this head shall be aggregated but not so in any case as to exceed the amount which would have been payable if permanent total disablement had resulted from the injuries. So for permanent for temporary disablement where as a result of the injury there is temporary disablement total or partial then the employer is required to make a half monthly payment to the workman. The rate of half monthly payment is given in column 4 of schedule 4 and there are different rates for different wages group, different wage groups. Now rules regarding half monthly payment the first half monthly payment is to be made on the 6th day, 16th day, sorry. So first from the date, 16th day from the date of the disablement, where such disablement lasts for a period of 28 days or more. Or made on the 16th day after the expiry of a waiting period of 3 days from the date of the disablement, where such disablement lasts for a period less than 28 days so thereafter the payment must be made half monthly during the disablement or during a period of five years whichever period is shorter from any lump sum payment made for compensation and from any half monthly payment any sum 
which the workman has received from the employer prior to the receipt of the lump sum or half monthly payment may be deducted but any sum received for medical treatment cannot be so deducted. Section 41A No half monthly payment shall in any cases exceed the amount, if any, by which half the amount of the monthly wages of the workman before the accident exceeds half the amount of such wages which he is earning after the accident. This is mentioned in section 4, clause 1, subclause B. On the seizing of the disablement before the date on which any half monthly payment fails falls due, there shall be payable in respect of that half month a sum proportionate to the duration of the disablement in that half month. So this is mentioned under section 4 clause 2. Any half monthly payment payable to a workman may be reviewed by the commissioner on the application of either the employer or the workman on the ground that there has been a change in the condition of the workman. The payment may upon review be continued, increased, decreased or ended or in case the injury has resulted in a permanent disablement converted into a lump sum that this is mentioned under section 6. A right to receive half monthly payment may by agreement or by order of the commissioner be redeemed by the payment of a lump sum. This is called computation of half monthly payment. This is mentioned under section 7. Thank you so much.